basketball and the baseball and you know, all our friends from the stadiums, we're all here taking care of each other. Why does the soccer community have to be pushed out? The, the kids, the adults, and everyone who has something to do with soccer, we want to see something here. And, and I don't want to take the basketball courts away from, from anyone. These kids don't want to take the basketball courts away from anyone. That's the last thing on anyone's mind because trust me, these kids would hate to see someone come in there and try to take their soccer field away. You really would. So I think the best thing and the number one thing that these kids are asking for, along with some of the adults, is simple. Let's find a spot where we can make a food side of field. A small little corner that we can say, this is ours. Everyone has theirs. Now we finally have something for us. Thank you. Excuse me. Where is the one at the end of like Van Horn, Holmes, and that area? Yes. Okay. I coach uh, basketball and soccer here for like five or six years, off and on. And we need more basketball courts. That's what we definitely need. There's one practice per week. Uh, not, not that much time on time to have any more, more uh, space for that. We need to have tennis courts. There's, there's a tennis program that's great here in the summer that's free for 10 bucks for kids. It's a really good program. We need ten, tennis courts for that. I'm, I'm full. I think there should be soccer courts. Nobody has mentioned that the Stallions play here. That's a private, nonprofit group. That pays the park a lot of money. The park doesn't get any of that money, and they use the park. Community members use the use the, are part of the stallions. A big part of the community uses the stallions, and they pay like 480 bucks per person. And what happens is they exclude people from who live in the community from using the park for free. Right? You guys use the park for free because they pay here. They rent this place. You guys are actually excluded from using the own local park. And I, I think the stallions are great. Video, right? It's a great program. A lot of people use it. Okay, but I don't know why they can't use Guardia Park, right? And then use this park for soccer. Or I don't know if it's an issue with the park being uh, like messed up. Fix up Guardia Park, the, the, the field, in terms of uh, the Astro Trip on Guardia Park. And that could be used either for football or for soccer, whatever. Uh, if it's the issue of transportation. Is it possible to say a few more words? I, I was unfortunately no. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, well, it's in rebuttal to the earlier thing. With, um, the gentleman that lives across the road made uh, some valid points, and I thought they were going to get dressed. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, you can't. I'm sorry. I apologize. You, you wanted that? You want to the chair? No, that's why you're in the chair. I would be drinking all your Sorry. Uh, do we have any more? Uh, Public speakers, any more comments? No? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, moving on, guest speakers uh, or announcements. Obviously, we don't have any guest speakers. Um, there are announcements. Uh, we recently are part of, and I think I mentioned it to the board before, we hope everybody got these letters. Uh, but we are part of a study. Uh, there's a research group called the RAND, um, called RAND, and what they're doing is they're studying, um, they're studying what incentivizes people to go to the park. So they have four subjects. One park, uh, they came out and they took test samples of the parks that they were going to uh, study. So they would come in random times and just with their iPads and start like ask surveying people, counting the people at the park. And what it is they want to see what will increase park use um, and then just healthy lifestyle and healthy business. One of the parks, uh, the study group is business as usual. Just, you know, keep programming, keep running it the way we run it. The second one is throw in free classes. See if people people come. The third one was like a frequent user program where every time you came to the park you got a sticker and after like, you know, 10 stickers or 10 whole punches or whatever, you had it like the stamp cards at different uh, coffee houses, you get one free, um, you know, you would get a t-shirt, you would get a water bottle. And then the last study group was a combination of the incentive program and the classes. So we happened to be the one with the free classes. We got three classes. Um, and it's going to be a six month uh, period. And these are the classes that are offered. Uh, we, you know, we have uh, flyers at the senior center, we have flyers that we posted throughout the building. But if you can spread the word, the classes are free. All we have to do is show up. Um, participation is key, you know. Where do you get to work out for free? Not very many places. So if you guys can help spread the word, we'd really appreciate it. Um, it's always 
nice to offer free programs to the community. So that was the one announcement I had. Um, I think soccer and the Halloween are on the agenda already, right? Um, also, we have our, our new fall program out, and this has just the, the registration dates, the upcoming registration dates for our uh, basketball, our breakfast with Santa, and our Halloween. So you guys are more than welcome to take one of these and pass it out. It's on our website as well. If you just want to uh, save a tree and just click on um, to alleyparks.org, search El Sereno. Um, all their flyers are posted on there. There is a movie night uh, that the council office is hosting. Um, they actually uh, cut down on us showing out their movies. The, um, I guess the movie industry or whatever, they're asking us to pay the licensing fees. We used to do it as part of us, and now we show movies out here. Uh, we can no longer do that unless we pay a licensing fee. So the council office actually paid $500, plus they're paying us a permit to use a park to show this movie. I'd like to see a uh, family out with their picnic blankets um, on our field and enjoying a sense of community together. Uh, that's, you know, that's what the park is about. So they're going to be showing the Lego movie, and I'd ask that you, you know, bring your little, little ones, uh, brothers, sisters, nieces. Uh, I believe they're giving away free popcorn. So what time is that? 7, and that's on September 6th. We might give away free soccer balls to you. <laughs> Come on.
modern facilities, concrete street car, uh, drama plays, water park, multi-purpose room, bigger restrooms, everything. I also want everything, by the way. Uh, more police patrolling and walking in the park. There's a lot of marijuana smokers corrupting the children and exposing them to second kind of smoke. That many park staff, too. Um, please read the following items 1 to 5 by circling uh, your choice, 5 being the highest score. I like what's going on at El Sereno. We had uh, two number ones, two number three. Um, uh, 3 number 2, sorry, 10 number 3, 15 number 4, and 45 uh, number 5, so I guess we fared pretty well. Uh, the staff is friendly and helpful. Uh, 3 number 1, 1 number 2, 13 number 3, uh, 9 number 4, and 47 number 5. The LC Rec Center is clean and safe environment. Uh, 3 number 1, 2 number 2, 15 number 3, 16 number 4, and what is your impression of Austrian Recreation Center? Um, and these are the answers that we've got. I love everything about it. I love it here. I love this place. Um, I love it. Good. Good. Very good. All good. Good park. Clean. Very nice. Good for my family and all families. Also, you know, that's in a rock. <laughs> this is a very busy park, very busy and nice park to have in the community. Keep up the good work. The staff is great. The sports are great. It's very nice. Great recreation center. I promise you I didn't give any money to these people. <laughs> uh, center and staff, friendly staff, helpful. It is very hospitable. People enjoy being there all day. Uh, friendly and inviting. Very safe. It's a good environment for kids. Good quality coaches and personnel. I think the city is doing a great job. They should go out and recruit more kids for sports. Nothing great. Uh, just kidding. Okay. Or just okay, sorry. Always busy. Uh, fun. My family enjoys our nights here. This has been the second home and will always be a place for families everywhere. So I'm going to come and relax with the kids. I'm here with my wife and kids every day. A family center, family oriented. Uh, more security. I want to be. I want to communicate with the kids. I always miss my son in sports. However, I question the safety because it's illegal drugs in the park, especially the skate park area. It's a better park since ten years. Ten years ago, getting better for everyone. It's the heart of El Sereno. As a parent of five children, I enjoy what you offer, but would like more options. Not great. Uh, not great, they need to add more classes and better looking gym. Playground needs shape. It's very good, but there are a lot of wasted areas. Um, there should be more picnic areas to accommodate families. Needs uh, cleaning on the stairs. Needs more supervision uh, to be more beautiful park. Other comments, suggestion for future sign-ups. Give out numbers next year. Please give out numbers so people don't cut in line. It's not fair to others. And this was, uh, a survey that was done during our SNL registration, so I think a few people were happy. Um, moving on to uh, B, soccer. That's when you're putting soccer season here at El Sereno. All right, so we started registration August 2nd. Um, the younger divisions always are extremely successful. Right now we don't have a cap. We want to try and recruit as many teams as possible. Last year we had 20. Uh, however, we did not offer a junior division soccer team, which is uh, the up to 15 years old, uh, 13, 14, and 15 year olds. Um, so we had a, a connection that we know go to Wilson High School and make uh, public service announcements for us there, uh, or PA announcements, whatever, I don't know what you call them. The ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and... Uh, hand out flyers, so this was yesterday, so we're hoping uh, we get increased registration for our junior division. Um, the sign-ups are going well, pretty consistent and steady. Not like our free program, but that's good. Soccer is uh, definitely one of the sports that we are trying to build. When I got here, you know, uh, every year we've increased in our, in our sports. Uh, this year there was uh, 43 baseball teams. Um, you know, we had 28 basketball teams. 
Uh, we have 36 SNL teams total, softball, basketball, adult, you know, um, including the adults. So soccer last year we had 20, you know, crossing our fingers and hoping to add more. So it was, uh, it was always room for improvement. Um, let all the kids, all your cousins, nieces, nephews, little brothers, sisters, bring them with Bring them. Some of you guys, come on, bring them. You, make, you know, a lot of the kids out there are, are, are young. Our field is beautiful right now. Um, we're hoping you know, we'll get the same amount of uh, love this next uh, dormant season when we shut down. Yeah, I have a question so. for you. You know how every year they, they shut down the field because they have to recede and they got to fix the park and it's <laughs> mandatory in the city and the county, not just at this park. Uh, when are they scheduled to uh, close the field again? They usually do it. Um, they ask me to do it the last two weeks of December because they're you know really anxious and we go all the way through April. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Halloween. Okay, so the planning for Halloween um, has commenced. It's literally it's right around the corner. We are mandated to do Halloween on Halloween Day. Um, there are a few exceptions throughout the city, but the goal is uh, for families in the community that don't have the means of transportation or just a safe area to go trick-or-treating. Uh, the goal of recreation is to bring the community together in a safe, fun environment where families can come out. Um, so, uh, you know, also, you know, me being a, a park director, of course, that's my goal is to make it into my community, and we are, I'm planning on doing it um, on Halloween Day. You know, uh, Felix and I talked about possibly moving it, but no, I think Halloween is uh, the best. Um, I got it in my head that I want to, our Easter program was extremely successful as our breakfast with Santa has been lately. So I want to do it weather permitting on the field. Uh, we had talked about possibly doing it at the senior center the last two years. We did it uh, at Rose Hill, and you know, it take, kind of takes away from the mecca, which I think El Serino is. Um, you know, we put it in a small building, a small park. It's still a good program, but I'd rather have it smack in the middle of uh, our field. And uh, I was hoping to collaborate with the Stallions, uh, Uzar's office, and uh, I want to get uh, a pumpkin patch so we can be pay donated for picture ops for families. Uh, we need eight game boots and a playable, and then I want to, Chris and I want to do like a spooky walkthrough with uh, pop-up tents, maybe three in a row, have it all parked up. And then one of the sides would be the pumpkin patch for the picture ops. Um, I'm really excited with any ideas or suggestions. Uh, um, I, I, was, uh, I was wondering if, if, if we should consider reaching out to all the local schools. And, you know, it's just like any event, when you have a lot of kids out there, mm -hmm. a lot of adults follow the kids. The grandparents, the aunts, the heels, all the brothers and sisters. So if we reach out to the local schools, we have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's uh, seven or eight elementaries, a junior high and high school. Yeah, if we reach out to these schools and tell them, hey, listen, we're, we're going to give you the opportunity to make your own uh, little haunted house out on the field. Make it a contest, see maybe at the end of the night, um, Huntington Drive Elementary wins. You know, each school will probably bring about maybe 25, 30 families. You know, the schools will get you know, get, them, get the, the schools involved and, you know, make it, you make it a nice event where we, we invite the schools, they do their own haunted house. Uh, and obviously, one is at the park that obviously the stagnants and the council will, will, will get involved with and, and invite all the other schools. You know, it's just an idea because, you know, kids bring. Bring adults and they get a big old family thing. Yeah, I think just promoting the program um, and everything that there is to offer, maybe for bring kids in it, it being snack in the middle of our baseball field, uh, or sorry, a multi purpose field would help. Um, so, this is kind of like the idea that I had. With uh, this being the inflatable, these being the game booth, uh, like a family, just a uh, place for families to sit down. The table? Uh, uh -huh. This would be the, the haunted house walkthrough, and this would be the pumpkin patch with the scarecrow and the hay, and 
hopefully use our banner in the back because he donated some funds. If, 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 if they donate funds. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll it, it, sorry, to make sure. But I'm uh, really excited about the idea. It's time to hit the ground running with this because uh, before we know it, it's going to be here. I, I think we'll have uh, success hitting up the councilman with some funds. It's going to need to, right? Uh, and councilman is always real good to the community when it comes to helping out the kids. And since, you know, this is Halloween is all about the kids, really. You know, well, it's changed a lot of throughout the years, but it's really about the kids. Make sure the councilman will help us out. Yeah, I'm extremely excited about it. Challenge. <laughs> so far, our events have been extremely successful, thanks to you know, unconditional help. Thank you. You're going to be busy all <laughs> I hope that there is because everybody goes to call us. And yeah. 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 Well, hopefully we can go to call us and we have a lot of parking. Or you can just scan them and put posters around. Call them. <laughs> hey, <laughs> after callers, right? After callers. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'm really excited about Halloween. It's something we have to do. It's been one event, you know, one of the events that we've been here um, that has a, had a great turnout. And I think it's just if you're trick or treating, one there's call us, and then two if you're trick or treating and you're down on Eastern, the hike up the parking lot to the gym, you're just like, ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> so, I remember years ago the old pool building, the old, the, the old pool building. It's turned the entire thing into a honey house. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the, the clubhouse, mm -hmm. right? The, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, the locker rooms. Mm -hmm. The old locker Not. I think they did it once or twice in the clubhouse, yeah. but the actual locker room area, they turned, in, they turned into a honey house. Is that right? Yeah. They, started to, uh, they started to crack down on us, uh, the fire marshals, for the safety of the community and people, you know, to, um, to literally, you have to have it up to par with the building standards and you're putting people's lives at risk if you're not doing it correctly. Something falls and knocks everything else down and hurts people. So that was one of the reasons because we, we would do haunted houses regularly and then it was just too hard because we're recreators. We, we're creative, but um, well, we're I, not safety engineers. Yeah. We're doing <laughs> well, well, the good thing about it is um, the, 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 uh, I, I, I know it, all we got to do is just start making phone calls, start start writing letters, and uh, start passing those letters out and, and making those phone calls. And I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll get the hate. We'll, we'll, we just got to find out what we get the hate. Okay. Get the hate, you know, make some candy and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure the councilman will help us out with that because he does help uh, college with some of the candy bags out there. So I'm pretty sure he, 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 he did uh, this episode. We're combining resources, so. Rose Hills Park yeah. and, and El Serino. And then we have things like tables and chairs and pop up tents. I have Stanford, who's an extremely good artist. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have him start working on the scarecrow. Mm -hmm. So it would literally just be bales of hay, um, a few new games so the kids don't get town the same old games that we've had every year. How many? Uh, how many? We're required to have eight games. And how many things of hay do we need? It's just for a photo op. You know, some to throw down on a tarp and then... Yeah. Um, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'm uh, going to look into um, really cool creative crafts that the kids can do when they stop by. Um, we're going to move on? We're going to move on to uh, playing our, our uh, winter holiday. It, that, that's uh, breakfast with Santa and all that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we have to actually start before that, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, and we should start actually, uh, even, I would say like, maybe like a little before Halloween, or right after mm -hmm. Halloween, mm -hmm. hit the ground running, because I still have to do... The request for toys, but those go in like last week, August, first, first week of September. Uh, the breakfast with Santa date is December 12th.
you know, we have our donors that donate. Um, the outreach again, you know, will, will be made to them. Uh, it's been extremely successful. We've gotten a lot of donations. Uh, thanks to you, we had bags and bags of toys uh, last year. Um, this year we need to try to do the same because our event was pretty big last year. And uh, as far as improvements, um, I would just say more, uh, I think entertainment, I have more entertainment. There was, uh, when I was younger at, at the parks, they had this marionette show. I think it's like $500 that we could get someone to donate or pay for that. Um, that would be great. It was, uh, I think it's four different shows, and we used to, we used to uh, be able to pay for it as a gift to our community, but we are no longer able to pay for things like that. Uh, but if we can get donations to, or donors to pay for that, that would be amazing. It's a really cool marionette show. I know you guys are like, what, marionettes? But it's well, amazing. I was thinking about where do we get those $500? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, so that's what I have for what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a hold of um, Don Juan uh, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll bring up the uh, five hundred dollars. Maybe you'll you'll be generous enough to hook us up with that. He, you know, he's been real good to us with, with the with the pudding and all the other stuff, the jowls and stuff. Yeah. That, uh, he's been taking care of us. Uh, I'll get a hold of him and I'll see if he's interested in those five hundred dollars. Uh, if he wants to, help. but I I can't promise or guarantee it, you know, I'm just bringing it up and see what he says, but uh, I know with the donations, the product donation, I, I'm, I could almost guarantee it again. So I'll, I'll talk to him about that, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll take a drive off there on Monday, Tuesday, and I'll pro probably on Monday, because uh, I don't work Sunday night, and I'll go ahead and uh, update you by Tuesday. Thank you, I really appreciate it. any help you can get. It's always, it always feels good when you uh, put on an event. It's crowded, people are happy, and uh, it was successful this last year. I really, I really, actually, the last two years has been really good. Uh, we had a lot of toys this year. Because of it, so thank you. Um, moving on to E. Uh, Discussion of joining the 2015 4th of July parade. Uh, this this is something I brought. Up. Yeah, and the reason I brought this up is because this year the parade, unfortunately, it wasn't what it's usually been. And, and I really think it would be fun for the kids here from this park to actually be in a parade. Most of them already joined the parade through the stadiums and you know other groups and organizations. Uh, some of them through their schools. But it would be nice to send some of our kids from here, from this park, out there, you know, to that parade. I, I really think it's something we should really look into. Uh, I, I know it's an idea, and I brought up the idea last time that it would be nice if we get some of the kids, maybe 10, 15 kids in this room and tell them, hey, you know, how about you make a, uh, like a piñata baseball player? But, you know, instead of the ones that you see out, you know, that we usually mm -hmm. bring out there, you know, some real nice ones, um, there's this guy who... If you open up your store and you want to put um, Jen's Market, he'll go out there and he'll make your sign look like a piñata. And that's kind of like cool, what I'm aiming for, you know, something like that. You know, with characters, soccer players, baseball players, football exactly. players. Exactly, would be like a key person there. Yeah, yeah you know, that could be a class. That, that, that's <laughs> right, you know, and, and we could use these uh, giant puppets and, and, you know, have the kids from the park represent soccer, baseball, basketball. And I think it would be a good, it'd be a nice experience, you know, it'd be a nice experience and that would be a good way to promote the park out at, at the parade also because the, the parade actually ends here at the park. You know, we have the, the fourth of the July Fireworks show, which is a great show also. Uh, but we've got to get the kids involved in that parade. I, I, you know, at ends here, you know, they're basically coming home. This I is think the issue with, with uh, that, well, has been happening and we've actually been requested to extend our uh, baseball program. Um, into mid-June is that our baseball program ends the first week in June mm -hmm. and then we go dead season until, you know, our season starts. So, um, it's all, you know, all-stars start in July. Um, 
and we, you know, we end in June and we start the next sport. So to get the baseball players to actually come out, and we haven't yet gotten the SNL, and it would be SNL jerseys, you know, for uh, the parade. So it's it's kind of like an odd uh, season. The you know we end and it's been done for three weeks, and then there's a parade. So that's what the issue is. However, we've been asked to extend baseball even though it might conflict with our SNL because baseball is our rec core programming mm -hmm. versus uh, SNL being just, you know, a summer fun free program. Uh, however, you know, Christian and I don't see it like that because it's our kids regardless. Um, it's our community. It's our, our faces are out there when there's issues or problems. Um, so we kind of try to also give the SNL program as much as attention as it requires, you know, our other needs require. Um, but yeah, we've been told that we need to focus on our core program, which is based on extending it to so, okay. uh, Is there any possible way we can maybe start to tackle the list since soccer season is right around the corner? Maybe get, get a hold of some parents and coaches, you know, uh, have, have the kids sign up for maybe that, that parade? Yeah, and tell them, listen, if we want to join the parade, soccer season will be well over before the parade comes around seven months later, basically. Uh, can we count on you for that? Uh, until then, you know, be part of the parade. Here's a list. Sign up. Parents, you know, join us. I mean, you know, do the same thing with basketball. Do the same thing, yeah. Call them up. Yeah. You know, remember the parade. And we might be able to get maybe 20 soccer kids, you know, um, 25, 30 basketball kids. Basketball, uh, baseball's going uh, baseball's gonna be ending right around that time. So I'm sure you'll probably get more kids for baseball. I think any type of participation, asking them to just go in your uniform and participate in the parade. I think that's just, you know, some kids are just going to be all for it, regardless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, so, yeah. Um, it would of course be nice if it were teams or like the All Star pros. Just Oh, by the way, our junior softball and our junior baseball took the championship. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the elementary yeah. should have, but I would miss the part. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need the boys. Um, <laughs> well, you know what? That's an idea, too. We, we could always, uh, uh, whoever the coach is, obviously you're the director, they're going to listen to whatever you say. If, <laughs> you know, are, 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 you're going to do this. No. But, but what I mean is, uh, if you talk to the coaches, and maybe a meeting with the parents real quick, tell them, hey, listen, can we get the... Uh, the all-star team together for that parade, and we get the They've champions. They've been asking me for a banner, actually, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, and, and, and maybe yeah. the, the champions yeah. of the regular seasons, hey, you guys, check it out in a couple I think, months. I think they'll want to. Yeah. I, I think they will. Yeah, it'll be fun to go out there and, you know, champions, you know, and say, you know, whatever, and, you know, the, the two names, uh, I think it'll be fun. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, future agenda items. I think uh, we need to keep Halloween and the winter holiday on the agenda. Okay. And then the paper items, of course. Any, anything else? Uh, I want to get uh, the councilman staff in here, uh, along with Molinas, uh, keep going here. Uh, hopefully we could uh, maybe get a hold of them before the, the, the next meeting and um, not force them, but ask them to join us. Uh, I, I want them to to know that we want to stay in touch with them, we want to keep working with them, and the only way that's going to happen is if we have them at, the, have them at these meetings. I'll send out the invite and see what happens. I know I asked uh, both Nate and Julio when they just, you know, they basically said, John, we don't have any updates for you, so there's really nothing, you know, there's nothing we can see. Uh, and it's real important that we speak to them before any any construction or knocking down of any building start happening. We, we really need clarification because from my understanding, uh, these gentlemen here who, who actually stay till the end of the meeting, you know, and, and I thank you for that because a lot of people do come to these meetings and, and you know, they leave as soon as they're done. These, these, these uh, young men and this young lady here, they, they actually stay till the end and they're, they're real serious. I, I mean, they really want to see something happen for their for, the, for their sport and I think it would be important to to, uh, 
uh, get them included in, in this park upgrade and, and everything that's about to happen. I, I really think it's uh, it's something that we need to uh, bring up to the councilman and, and the mayor's office because before anything's built, before anything's said, before it's all done, they need their space. And I think it's important since uh, the city of Valais are actually the ones who are actually doing the, um, they brought in blueprints. And, and they showed us the blueprints. It was great, by the way. It, it looked really nice and everything. But I think we need to we have to figure out a way how, how we could uh, uh, please the soccer community also. So I, I really want the councilman's office and Molina's office to come in and 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 maybe we can pass on the word and let them know how serious these people are because that's something that definitely needs to be taken care of. Uh, if I may add, yes. Um, I, right now, um, Jennifer mentioned that councilman's office not here because they didn't really have updates. But if we could have them in attendance regularly, even if they don't have updates for us, they might not have updates for us, but if they would have been here, they would have heard the, the needs, the concerns of the community. So that would be great if we could have them at every meeting. Like I said, I send out invites, yes. and they will either accept or decline, so that would be mm -hmm. Can we put in the future agenda um, status of anything that's happened to the skate park, just to remind us? The hazard one is nice and right. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? I have uh, a couple people in the drink for the skate yeah. park? All right. Um, if they do want to come, make sure um, they, they, they say yes, they'll, they'll be here. And, and the best we could do the first time would be a public comment. And after that, we we'll would probably add it to the agenda or for some type of presentation. Um, can we move on? Anything else? Um, can I get an amen? I'm, I'm sorry. Can I get an adjournment? <laughs> 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 a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Oh. I second. Can I second? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are adjourned. Thank you very All right. Much. And guys, off the record. Um, so. <laughs>